2020, a year we will never forget. While everyone is shitting on how horrible 2020 has treated them, I somehow felt like 2020 treated me quite well. I wouldn't say the best of the best, since I haven't really fully lived my life just yet. Should I do my intro? I should. Hello lovely human beings, it is I, Jess, uh, Scribble Take Sketchix today, and here I am, making a YouTube vlog. Just like all the other YouTubers out here, reflecting on how 2020 has treated us. 2020 started out just like any normal day, for me at least. Count it down, and once the day turns into 1st of January 2020, you go to sleep, and then you wait for what's, uh, what comes right this year. Oh boy, I can't speak today. A lot would say that this is probably the worst year for, of their lives, because there's a lot of people losing jobs, uh, you have to wear masks every time you go outdoors. Uh, there's a lot of protests happening hmm, in Thailand, America, and maybe even here in Hong Kong. We don't do that anymore. It's, no, let's not talk about that. We never specifically say anything about having lockdowns here, but it's more of just limiting the amount of people that you want to hang out with. Uh, most of the time it's just uh, you can only bring along two or three people with you, so like three or four. But now, uh, probably the worst case scenario, which is only bringing one person with you to any restaurants or maybe even just going outdoors in general. But enough with that, sure. Working from home, home offices, and in my place as a student, online lessons can be really hard. Especially when this year I started a new semester in a new institute and I get to meet new thought I would get to meet new people. But you know, all this pandemic going on and you still need to limit the amount of people that you can go out with. We cannot even see each other for the first two months of September and October. And even the orientation day in the uh, ending of August, is that how you say it? I thought I was never gonna see them like, ever this year. We only edit each other in the Discord server and we kinda get along by just chatting. Until one day, I think around in November or maybe near the, uh, near the end of October, we have a course that uh, allows us to go back to the institute to have that certain workshop lesson. And luckily the pandemic seems to, seems to be going fine. It seems to be, there doesn't seem to be any more infections that time. So we are allowed to go to school and meet each other. And I don't remember how many, probably seven of us, we decided to group up and meet each other for, you know, first face impression and then before before going to the lesson. So that was great. I'm talking all of that, but I'm not I haven't even gone through the main subject of this video yet. I want to thank 2020 for letting us have a view on just to see what would happen if humanity wasn't so evolved. I've seen how clear the skies were one when we're when there's not a lot of people going out. Some endangered animals, I think they don't have that endangered kind of status anymore makes me think about that maybe we're humans are the true viruses of the earth i want to thank 2020 for finally letting me go into the new institute that i've always wanted to go into it was i was supposed to like i thought that i would go go there last year but my entrance exam didn't do well so i have to wait for uh, I have to study in the other school for a year first before getting into this one. And I got to study animation, which is great because I've been always interested in uh, learning more animation stuff and I could see myself slowly improving in animation. I got applied to a summer designer internship, pretty neat. I got a gaming laptop weeks before my birthday. Thank you. Since I got a gaming laptop, I decided to start streaming uh, both art and some games. And then because of that, I also started a gaming channel. It's been doing very well. Uh, I think I started around August or September or something. And up until now, when I look into it, it's already 74 subscribers. Holy shit. And this channel right here is uh, halfway to 1k. 1,000 subscribers, and I didn't think that this would this would be possible at all. At this point, I just cannot just thank 2020 for that. I have to thank all of you. You sharing videos of mine to 
everyone out here around the globe just let everyone see it and that's why、um, this channel could grow because you just viewing it YouTube could see it that the view is going up so oh let's just throw it to everyone I actually don't know how the whole、um, algorithm works it's just that I thought you know more views then that means More people come and see it in their timeline. I don't know. I got paid from Redbubble. Is it just? It doesn't look like a few for U.S. dollars, but it's a lot for Hong Kong dollars. And that's because you decide to buy those designs, those shirts, those throw blankets, those mugs with my design or illustration on it. And I feel like that I could talk about this right now, because 2020. Gave me a reason to live happily again because I am dating again. If you know me, then you would know that I used to have one, but it's a long-distance relationship. And you know, we're, we're not going to talk about what happened later on.、Uh, but right now, 2020, right near the end, like around 27th of November,、uh, they proposed to me. We met each other in school. You you would think it's weird, because we only meet each other for what three months, and those two months we never actually seen each other's faces. But when we first met each other, it everyone would felt like you guys are like old friends that you've never seen, you've never seen for a long time. Because when we talk together, we're we're like. I don't know. It, it's just that we can connect so well. Last relationship, I felt the same thing. I felt like I connected with them. We could talk so well. We have common interests, and this one, this date that I have right now, is the same situation. But even more better is that I could actually see them in real life instead of a long distance one. I'm just speechless. I I never thought that I would be able to meet someone like that again, and I could feel that I'm much more lively, much more happier. And it would be it would be weird to say that it was 2020 that made me feel this way. According to everyone, 2020 has treated them like shit. 2020 is also a year where I、uh, finally figure out how I want to identify myself. And so far, I'm very comfortable with telling everyone that I'm non-binary. The pronouns in Chinese doesn't really matter because just one word and it's unisex. But、uh, English, please not stay, please. And I discovered a sexuality which is called demi demi romantic demi.、Mm, I don't know. I just think it suits me better than saying that I'm a pansexual. And I'm just I just don't <laughs> I, I'm just not the person who. Proposes and asks someone to hang out. Weird, huh? Tend to find the good things underneath all that chaos. Also, I get to touch a cat and touch their little toes. They're so squishy. With all that aside, I just feel like 2020 has treated me very well. It turns me into someone who finds、uh, good things underneath the bad. How is there a phrase for that? Like. Finding a little plan underneath all that trash—it made me appreciate things, little things, even more. Although my parents seldom get to have work from home,、uh, but there are some times where I think this year we I get to spend much more time with them. There are days where we spend together and take a walk in the mountains, and I think that is good enough because we normally.、Um, We we only do that sometimes, but 2020, the time where we are always、uh, staying at home, my parents just feel like you know what, let's let's take a walk in the mountains because you haven't been able to, you know, get burned from the sun or feel the fresh air from outside because you've been staying at home for too long. And I think that's good enough for me. My life in 2020 is summed up in one word. Not bad, actually. That's not one word. That's two words. So what about you? How was your 2020? There has to be something good underneath all that filth. Now I can't wait to see what 2021 has has 
to God for us. Hopefully it'll be better. If not, then I guess it's another time for us to appreciate our surroundings. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And maybe check out the links below for my social media and merch. This is the TV signing off for today. Bye. I normally do these intros and outros from my gaming channel and doing it right here just feels weird.